Hi guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu 20.04. Now, I'll be installing Jenkins on a remote server, but you can use the exact same steps to install it on your local machine. So, I've opened up my terminal here and I'll SSH into my uh, remote machine. So, I have a password for this. Yes, so I was on my laptop, but now I'm the root user of my remote machine. Now, one important uh, note here is that you need to have JDK 11 installed on your Ubuntu 20.04 machine. If you don't have it installed, then Jenkins uh, installation will fail and it won't give you an error. So it's better to check if you have JDK 11 installed. If you don't have it installed, uh, then you can uh, you know watch one of my previous videos on JDK 11 and install it uh, using that. Um, to check if you have JDK installed, is you, you just use uh, Java C and then minus version, and you'll be able to see if you have it installed or not. Now let's proceed. Okay, and now I have to um, fetch a repository from uh, from a link from it, uh, from a link on the internet, and I have to use wget for it. Now wget is a command that helps us to do that to fetch things from the internet. Uh, you may or may not have, have wget installed on your machine. So uh, the way to check this is to, to say wget and minus minus version. So it says that I have wget installed 1.21.3. But if you don't have it installed and all you have to do is sudo apt get install wget, right? So that's very straightforward. And then you'll be able to use this. But make sure you have wget installed, otherwise you won't be able to follow through. Now we'll use wget command to uh, get the uh, you know Jenkins uh, repository from the Jenkins link so this is the Jenkins link package dot Jenkins dot IO which is on the Jenkins website Debian this is the Debian package we want the Debian uh, stable and Jenkins dot IO dot key right and the pipe command sudo apt key add so let me just verify if I've written everything correctly. Do we get minus key minus capital O minus space the link package dot Jenkins.io Debian stable Jenkins.io dot key sudo apt key and add yeah. So what I'll do is I'll uh, post these commands in the description box so you don't have to type these you can just copy and paste because if you make a mistake here it can get uh, difficult to follow along right. And now the next command even I will copy and paste the next command. So I'll paste it here. So I've pasted it. What we have done here is we've appended the Debian package repository address to the service sources dot list. All you, all we have to do now is sudo apt update. So that will update all the apt repositories. Now, since the Jenkins repository has been fetched from the internet from the Jenkins website and added to our apt repositories, all we have to do now is sudo apt install. Jenkins I'll say yes and this will take a while was installing Jenkins So I won't edit the, uh, this is, uh, this session out because you you should see what kind of uh, error or you know uh, success commands I get. So as you can see, it has given uh, the uh, control back to me. I'll say clear so that you know everything is uh, you know a little more visible at least. Uh, so now we have installed Jenkins successfully. I can check that by saying Jenkins start. And then sudo system ctl status Jenkins. Now these commands, right? The sudo system ctl start and status commands. These are some things you will have to use on a daily basis uh, when you work with Jenkins. So start, stop, restart with sudo system ctl. Uh, just uh, try and get comfortable with these commands. So now I can see that the Jenkins service is active. So I'll say Q or Control C, right? So I'm back here at my root. So you could see that uh, Jenkins service is working. Now I'll have to 
work a bit with the um, firewall so that it can allow traffic to the port 8080 on which I want my Jenkins server to run. UFW status. It's inactive. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll go over to our window. Uh, now let me switch uh, on my video recorder so that you can see. Yeah, I think now you can see. So now I'll go to my uh, IP address. Right. So the IP address is 143. I'll just copy it, I'll paste it here. And I'll say 8080. So this is the machine on which I just installed Jenkins, and 8080 is the port. So it says unlock Jenkins. So this is perfect, right? This is what we wanted. We wanted to install Jenkins. We have installed Jenkins, and now it's saying uh, unlock Jenkins, right? So how do we un un unlock it? I will uh, put the uh, I'll, I'll ask the what do you call it the video recording software to again bring my um, terminal to the front yeah now it's showing my terminal again so to see the password for Jenkins you have to say sudo cat slash so the, basically the cat command always uh, you know uh, prints the file here in the terminal itself so now I'm giving basically the uh, root uh, or the route or basically the location of where this file exits. Uh, so it's inside Jenkins site secrets and initial admin password. So I'm not sure if this is it. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, it's, this is it. So I just have to copy this. Right. I don't have to paste it here. I've copied it now. And now I'll bring the command back to my Google Chrome window. Not sure if you can see it yet. Um, Not sure what's happening with the video recording device. Yeah, sorry, now I'm back again. So I just have to paste it here and continue. So I'm using this OBS uh, streaming or uh, video recording software, so it, it is quite, um, you know, uh, it can get a bit confusing sometimes. So I'll say install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. I'll say install suggested plugins. I'll click on that. So it's going to install all of the plugins for me. This takes a while. And then after this is done, right, it will ask me to create an admin user for Jenkins, which also I'll show you right now. But I think you'll have to wait for about two minutes. I think I'll edit this part out. You don't have to wait yeah so it's done and now it's automatically brought me to the screen which is creating the first admin user so I'll create a username and password full name and email address save and continue Jenkins URL yes makes sense start using Jenkins Jenkins is ready so I'm here and I can start creating my jobs and start creating my pipelines. I will be covering Jenkins uh, in a series uh, very soon. But for now, this was it. Uh, I hope you've learned how to install Jenkins. If you like this video, then do subscribe to this channel. And thanks a lot for watching. Uh, and of course, I'll be leaving all of these commands in the uh, description box below. So you can just copy and paste them. You don't have to really uh, type all these commands on your own.